The battle of the sexes has moved to a new front with news that babies born through certain IVF techniques are more likely to be male. IVF babies make up around 4% of the population and with more older mums, that number is likely to rise. Peter Jakub's parents tried IVF for more than seven years before his mother Paula finally got pregnant. She says gender wasn't a priority. I wanted a girl and my husband wanted a boy, but at, at the end of the day we both kind of went, you know, as long as the child is healthy and, you know, a happy baby, and we've been really blessed with him, he's just a, a, a little angel. But new research reveals that the Jakubs were more likely to have a boy. For the first time, researchers at the University of New South Wales looked at all the babies born through IVF in Australia and New Zealand from 2002 to 2006. They found a new technique where an embryo is implanted five days after fertilisation significantly increases the likelihood of the baby being male. With that combination, um, for every 100 females, there are 128 males born. Scientists aren't sure why more boys are being born. They think it's something to do with how the embryo is grown in the lab. If we can find why there's an increase in, in males, uh, that potentially has some implications in terms of if we do want to have more males or a couple have, wish to have uh, more uh, a male when they've got three females, it may be a way of helping them uh, achieve their dream. The surprise finding is similar to what happens outside the lab, where just over half of all births are male. As for Paula Yacoub, she's going to try IVF again and says another boy is fine. Sophie Scott, ABC News.